So you're interested in biomedical science, but now you want to know how to become a biomedical scientist? Well, actually there's multiple ways and we'll go over all of them in this video. A first thing to consider is the length of time you want to study. You can perfectly become a biomedical scientist with a bachelor's or an undergraduate degree, either from a college or a university. Importantly, when choosing an institution to study biomedical science, you should check if the undergraduate program is more technically focused or more academically focused. This will most likely influence the style of courses during your undergrad. The former would then have a more technical focus, the latter would be more abstract and knowledge focused because the goal of the latter would be to progress to a graduate degree such as a master's or a PhD. A second thing to consider is whether you would like to work in a medical or a clinical lab. Sometimes this type of job function for a biomedical scientist is also called a medical laboratory scientist or a medical laboratory technologist, mostly in the USA. If you do want to work in a medical lab, you need to check on the accreditation process. Because you'll have a big responsibility in processing human patient samples to help diagnose diseases, you will need to prove you're capable. In the UK, for instance, you need accreditation by the IBMS, the Institute for Biomedical Science. Depending on which institution you studied at, either the accreditation is built in, or you might need an extra year to work in an IBMS accredited lab. In Belgium, for example, accreditation is built in the three-year undergraduate program as stated by a royal decree. In the US, there are actually three agencies dealing with accreditation and certification. So be aware that there might be major country-specific procedures, so best to look that up for your own land of residence. A good thing to know is that if you decided to start off with a more technical-focused program, you can always switch to a university graduate program afterwards. In other words, it's never too late to get a higher degree. On the downside, this might cost you an extra year, as you'll most likely need to take a bridge year to close the gap between a technical-oriented program and an academic oriented program. But be aware that the option is there. Personally, back in my day, I also doubted whether to start on a college or a university level. I ended up choosing university level to see if I could handle it. So I did, and I succeeded. And now I'm glad I did because that actually saved me a year. If you too decide to go for a graduate degree, you can become a biomedical scientist with a master's degree, or go even further and get a PhD, like I am pursuing right now. Also here, options vary, depending on the policy of your chosen educational institution. Most often, if you want to get your PhD, you need to complete your master's first, but some institutions, mostly in the UK or US, offer a PhD program immediately after your undergrad degree. How far should you go? Well, I guess you'll see along the way. Start off with your first year and take things from there one year at a time. Give yourself some time to grow. Here I actually define biomedical scientist as someone who studied biomedical science and holds a biomedical science degree. What type of job you actually want to do later could mean your job title is something else. For instance, like I said before, biomedical scientist is often the same meaning as medical lab tech or MLT. Someone doing research in an academic lab could be called a medical research scientist. And someone with a biomedical degree selling equipment for life science research could be called a technical sales specialist. See how the options are opening up? I know, I know, these things can get confusing, but don't worry. My plan is to make separate videos on multiple jobs and careers you can get with your biomedical degree. So if you're interested in which type of jobs you can get, please consider subscribing to this channel. Also, for your further information, check the description below for some handy links. See you in the next video, guys. Cheers.